No matter how hard you're gonna try, you can never be perfect in programming. Now, a lot of people after watching this sentence are gonna say, hey, what are you talking about, man? You always have been talking about learn programming and everything. And now you're saying nobody can be perfect in programming or nowhere near the perfect in programming. What are you saying actually? Let's talk about that in this video. In this channel, we talk about programming, web apps, mobile apps, and pretty much everything related to programming and technology. So in case you are new here, consider subscribing. Now there is a little bit announcement as well with this video. I have uh, actually got a cool surprise for you uh, and that will come up at the end of the video. You will really, really enjoy that. But first, let's move on to the basic agenda of this video. Now, why I'm saying that nobody can be ever perfect with the programming? Now, obviously nobody can be. Now, I have seen a lot of people spending a lot, lot, lot of time in just mastering the language. Now, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. It's obviously a good thing, but spending too much time in programming can be dangerous. And why is that? Because all the time you'll be looking up, hey, I'm not good enough. I should even practice more. I'm not good enough. I should practice more. And this loop never ends. Now, let me tell you what approach you need to take. Now, once you have mastered the basic syntax, like for example, I'm not saying you should be uh, completely skipping those parts, but of course I expect you something like you should be familiar with the loops, the concepts of functions and little bit of the classes and object and that's it, that's it. Once you have got that, you should be moving on to designing your dream project or any fundamental project that you're looking for. Now, a lot of time, a lot of people just learn on the go and that percentage is almost 90% and 90% of the people learn on the go. Now, in fact, if you'll ask me, I sometimes even forget where should I define my object or how to call a web request or even how to define or how to call a segue there uh, in the iOS apps or even in for web applications. Sometimes I forget how can I make uh, this full screen background image there. I, I forgot all, all of these things. So in fact, uh, if I have been coding for almost 10 years now, I forget these things. It's obviously common for you as a new programmer that you forget a lot of things. And it is completely okay. So what I'm saying in here is don't worry about anything. Uh, you will never master programming. Even after 20 years or 25 years, you will never master them. The only thing that you can master is solving problems on the go. Now what happens when you uh, take a project is that there are specific goals that you want to achieve. Now, if you're familiar, for example, let's just say uh, we take an, a simple example of web development and this can be applied for iOS, Android or pretty much anything. And you want a specific feature in your web application that you want this particular type. And somehow you don't know how to do that. What you do? You research on the web. You take some chunks from here, some chunks from there and design that specific goal uh, for your website and you just mix around everything until your desired product is being produced. How you do that? Because you were being able to do that uh, simply because uh, you were familiar with the basic concept of the language and you just learned on the go. That's what I'm saying. So don't worry about if you're getting scared. Hey, I'm not feeling confident. I'm not getting much about the language. Hey, if you have, if you are going good with uh, loops, function, little bit object oriented, that's okay. Now it's a good time to move into project. Go ahead, write code for your dream application that you were thinking to build, learn on the go solve the problems on the go. So don't wait for that. And in case you have no project mind, uh, you have no idea about what kind of project you're gonna build up, design specific project uh, that are fictional. For example, a website for me, or maybe for yourself, or maybe for your dad, or maybe a simple replica of something like uh, if you are in the app development, clone a simple Uber app, or maybe a, uh, if you are into game development, copy the Flappy Bird, or any other game like that. And again, the gist of this video is simply learn on the go. You will never master anything. Now, this is my quick advice to all of you. Apart from that, the second important thing is uh, one of my friend actually, uh, I'll call all, the, all of them as friend. Uh, one of the student actually uh, mailed me quite a number of times that I want to appear in your video. And I said, why not? It's, it's okay to appear in my video. I asked him if you can uh, shoot a quick uh, under two minute video and I'll surely place that at the end of my video. There is no problem in that. So uh, what I'm planning to do in here that in case these videos are helping to you, 
you can anytime pick up your phone uh, shoot a selfie video under two minutes please and tell me how these videos are helping and what you think about this channel uh, I'll surely pick up those videos and put at the end of my videos and this is gonna give you a good opportunity to appear on the channel and with this now let's move on and see what he has to say and with this I'll catch you up in the next video hey good morning everyone I am Nandan Chandela I am a huge fan of Hitesh Chaudhary sir and today I've got this golden opportunity to be on this H drive thank you Hitesh sir for putting me in this H drive I'm feeling very cool uh, I, in respect of Hitesh sir I would like to say that he has really been a great part of my educational life right now I am in my final year studying software development Hitesh sir videos are really helpful and they have helped me a lot thank you Hitesh sir have a good that day that is actually a cool video